Here they are for race four. Number one is Dance Productions, under lease to E.G. Trod, Limited Liability, Court, Bed Greeno, Jr. The two is Bexley, owned by Smith, Kesey and Cunningham, Jim Daly up. Three is He's Nifty, owned by Darby's Edge Stable, and Oop doing trotting, Elliot Deaton aboard. Four is out. The five is Wild Louie, under lease to Russell Britton with Joe Adamski. Six is Rose Run and Ed, owned by Douglas Macy, Bob Harper drives. Seven is Accorday, owned by Karma Hudson, Ralph Lunsford up. Spirited Sacker is the eight, owned by Marty Lavelle with Greg Grismore. Nine is Wildwood Inquirer, Richard Elwood owns, Brad Hanners is up, and the ten is Don't Stand Too Close, owned by Willard and Hagier with Jeff Fout. Post time for race four in just six minutes. Trotting Field is approaching the start. And they're off. A pair of breakers. Six, Rose Run and Ed is off stride. Seven, Accorday is off stride. Wild Louie takes command. Dance Productions just in behind. Spirited Sacra left well from the outside. Now racing in third. Gap of three. Bexley is fourth. Just in back of that one, we have Wildwood Inquirer, followed by Don't Stand Too Close. He's Nifty made a break entering the turn, followed next by Accorday, who recovers just inside of that. And the distant trailer after the early miscue, Rose Run and Ed. They trot to the opening quarter station. It's Joe Adamski on the point with Wild Louie in 30 and 1. Passing the stands for the first time, it's Wild Louie by a length and a quarter. Dance Productions tracks him from second. Gap of three lengths farther back to Spirited Sacra in third. Next in line, we have Bexley in fourth, six off the lead. Wildwood Inquirer comes first over on the outside fifth. Don't stand too close. We'll move with live cover in six. Two and a half back to Accor Day, who's about ten off the lead in seventh. And then much farther back to the breakers. He's nifty. And a rose running at is the trailer. Over to the half mile pole. It's Wild Louie in command in 101 and 2. Off the turn and down the backstretch. Wild Louie on an uncontested lead on top of length and a quarter. From Dance Productions, the long shot is in the pocket second as Wildwood Inquirer continues to make steady progress on the outside now up into second. Don't stand too close as gaining ground but gap and cover. Along the inside, Spirited Sacra is locked in fifth. A length and a half further back to the pair of Accorday just outside of Bexley as they approach the three quarters. And Wildwood Inquirer brushes to the front, opening up a two length lead on Wild Louie in second. Dance Productions third. Don't stand too close, racing idle on the outside in fourth. And Dance Productions uh, comes out in 131 and 1. Moving around to head stretch. Up top, it's Wildwood Inquirer, but Dance Productions is closing in. Wild Louie's going to try to re rally, followed by Don't Stand Too Close, and Accorday has some late trot on the far outside. It's Dance Productions trying to wear down a game. Wildwood Inquirer in the final yards. Three farther back to Wild Louie. Wildwood Inquirer battles back, reclaims the lead, wins it by a half. Dance Productions to go second. Spirited Sacker up third and two, one and three. Inquirer, one for two on the season, two, one, and three. The mile time, a four-year-old son of Inquirer out of Wildwood, Flora by Christus Crown, owned by Richard Elwood, trained by Rick Hartman, and driven to victory by Brad Hanners. Nine, one exact, it returns $183.20. The trifecta, nine, one, eight, 2085.80.